Hello, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. In the last part, things got a bit spooky as we witnessed a kidnap, or at least what looked like a kidnap. And uh, then the police aunt more cop said she saw nothing, and that essentially I'm lying. So that's fun. So uh, yeah, in this part we're going to start off by going and seeing Greg. And I believe we've then got band practice. Where you'll be treated to an eight times speed song, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, see how things go from there. Getting fairly deep into the game now, I imagine. I'm going to start having some mysteries play a more prominent role. Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. Watch up to. We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Now I realized last time that I should probably ha have my controller like in my lap and be using all like different fingers for each button for the band thing. Uh, and then I realized that I just can't be asked to do that. So I'm just gonna keep using only my thumb and uh, yeah. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. There, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh boy. Count down at the bottom to the speed up. Go! Oh my god. What an absolute tragedy. Fuck. Wow, mate, that was a, a complete piece of shit. Pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. And it was actually impossible. Woo. So fast. You just pushed a button. I'm s I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sound so husky. <laughs> Angus is like the only one we know almost nothing about, really. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and also I think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No! I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like, from a source we can trust. Such as? Does the newspaper have a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file, going back like a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Question mark? <laughs> Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Wait, why would they not just come with us? Question mark? The library. Look, 
jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window, we're all working, things are great. Now it's like, one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. <laughs> Mine's clearly better. <laughs> I still can't jump. Well, no, actually, I could jump earlier, couldn't I? So, just, sometimes you can't. Hey! Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the micro fish is? Micro fish. Micro fish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. This ain't the third floor. Unless there were two entire floors in between that we went past in that little black space there. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 50 years, 50 years old, let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean... You should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You're gonna join my Young Socialist Chatterbox group? Holy crap. What? It's Charity Berity. What's Charity Berity? How do you not know Charity Berity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right. So this was a th so this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Parody. It does look really hateable. <laughs> it was like you were kidnapped by a cult, and when they were like brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask, that's not okay. Yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it. No, I was bored to death. It was talking forever about, like, being kind to others and, like, I don't know, helping an old neighbour do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Berity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Berity, Pink Nightmarity. <laughs> Charity Berity, I just don't care -ity. Wait, have I missed something? Read that one. Or was I just supposed to get back in the elevator? The elevator? Oh my god, what? The lift. Going up. Okay. Well, that explains that. There was not two floors hidden in between. I think we still need to go up another one, but... Sniff, sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep. Ghost. Or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying some... Is, are we sure that there wasn't like a gate there and he just had the keys to it? Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're going to go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. Alright, there she is. Cool. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Ah. <laughs> Ugh. Aw, we friends, Beatrice. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. 
Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. <laughs> Ow! Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Stafford Mine. Store. Possum Massacre, excuse me. Shot in cold blood. National Guard and Strike Breakers open fire on the crowd. Amazing. Poor kids. Strike. Local ghost Little Joe at it again. As the school children are quick to inform, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favourite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youths, such as the Possum Springs City Council. Oh, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers, you may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Ooh, look. Scoot so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Ah, that's actually pretty good. Is there more? Someone here. <laughs> we are very anxious to be delighted. Albino Groundhog. Hallucinations? Possibly? Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Strike lumbers on. I mean, this whole thing has got to be something to do with uh, jobs. Like, everyone in this town is either needing a job or has a shit job or has been laid off from their job or whatever. So it's got to have something to do with this. Ghostly rumours haunt new historical society. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical society. History that won't say history in a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Yeah, that's the other thing. Everyone seems to be in construction for the most part. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay. We're missing one. Community mourns. Uh, we read that one. Events. Did I just see spectral? Spectral happenings. Figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and disappeared. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. <laughs> Co-signed. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go.
So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? <laughs> nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money? I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. I mean, some things repeat. Oh, hey. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realised. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to, do you want to stick around for this? Yup, because it's got Selmas. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry at the end of my life you'll be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did! Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels. To be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. <laughs> the next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark, must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmas! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbour. Oh. <laughs> she writes these really funny dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha <laughs> ha. She's not wrong. Ahem. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy, billionaire, phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations, more than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs, boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement and they're in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Well, that wasn't short and happy. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Ha, huh. she rhymed entrepreneur? I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? 
I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it herself? Nice work, Smelma. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> that was cool. I like that. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. <laughs> right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. I get the feeling like it's not going to be a ghost. I don't know. Potentially. Potentially it is actually some supernatural paranormal shit. But, uh... I wouldn't mind either way, to be honest. Because I like, I like the whole theme of it all. But I feel like it's going to be just some bad dude at the end of the day. But anyway, he just, he died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of this ghost, like filled with like dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can like split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. <laughs> anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. <laughs> Ta-da, it's Selmers. A good poet, <laughs> scribbled out a poet. A good poet. Thought, if I die, someone should write a poem about it. Fantastic. And we shall leave it here for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I would super appreciate that. And I hope to see you next time when we come back and talk, talk to Daddy. <laughs> see you then. Mm -hmm.